All right, so Dawson Knox, uh, we're going to open up his practice window starting today, as well as Kair Elam, uh, Dane Jackson. Uh, and I should mention uh, your, your, your follow-up question to those two is, are they going to play? We're going to take it one day at a time uh, with both of those guys. Uh, Dane Jackson, clear concussion protocol. Taylor Rapp had the neck. He'll return to practice full today. Um, and then Von Miller is on a veteran rest day today, really getting him back to um, his routine that we, uh, that we worked at together last year. I'm trying to replicate that now that we have moved ahead a little bit in term, just in terms of um, days on the calendar. So, um, and this was this was planned previous to to obviously uh, the latest happenings here. So uh, they are separate separate situations altogether. So, uh, with that, I'll turn it over to you with your questions. You did say Taylor Rapp is full, Coach. I'm yes. Sorry. Thank yeah. You. Thank you. And then Vaughn will practice full tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. Give us your thoughts on the – Brandon spoke to it. Can you give us your thoughts on the Vaughn situation? Yeah, I know Brandon addressed it, um, and that's where we're at. Um, so um, I don't see a need to address it after it's already been addressed. Sean, how do you handle it in the locker room, given uh, the nature of the charges and that this is the, the third time he's been accused of something in this realm? Yeah, I, I respect where you're coming from, Tim. Again, it's it's been addressed – um, Brandon spoke on it. I'm focused on this practice right now. Brandon, or Sean, I asked Brandon, um, regardless of the off the field incident, the way he has played this year, he has not provided much help in defense. Should it be a consideration to maybe go with somebody else with these five games that you have to win? Well, I think like anything else, you, you're trying you try and evaluate every week, uh, every day at practice. Um, and we'll do that today and as well as tomorrow. Um, you know, some of what we're doing is to, to continue to try and get him where he was a year ago. Um, and that's why I mentioned what I mentioned. Um, that process took place uh, last week as a staff. We sat down and said, hey, what, what else can we do to continue to try and, and move this thing? Um, and so that's, that's, uh, that's the plan. Uh, that was put together by our medical staff. Uh, Chiefs, and you talk about their offense, which you know has not been the same level that we're used to seeing. Um, what are you seeing that might be <coughs> beneficial to you this weekend? No, well, let's. I mean, uh, the world that that you guys live in. I mean, this this is a dynamic offense. Andy Reid. Whenever you have Andy Reid and Patrick Mahomes. Um, and, and Kelsey, uh, and then you add um, ten back there, and in the in the in the running back core that they have, um, it's it's a dynamic offense. So we, we have to prepare that way. Sean, I, with the uh, silence in here in between <coughs> questions, I think that is pretty reflective of not really being sure what to ask, and maybe being a little stunned uh, that you don't have anything more to say uh, about when your highest paid players facing these allegations and how you're handling this as somebody who has his hand on the culture here and monitors it so closely. I'm sure you have something in addition to what Brandon Dean would say regarding how you personally are handling this in your locker room. Yeah, listen, Brandon and I have already spoken. Tim, again, I respect your question. Um, We've spoke. He's addressed it with you guys. I think that's more than fair, and and that's where we're at. I am focused on going to practice in 15 minutes and coaching the football team, um, and that's where we're at. How have you handled it over the last nine days? <coughs> uh, I've been involved. I've been involved. Um, I think you're aware of, of my involvement with things like this. So. Um, my focus right now is is going out there to practice and and improving our football team. With respect um, to you, every time that you talk, most times I should say every time you talk about a player, their fit in the culture, you mention their ability to be a family man, and the allegations here against Vaughn are, you know, hard to read or hard to see. What do you say? to the fan base who supports 
him and you and the team around this situation? Yeah, listen, I, I will say it is, it's, it's a very serious situation. There is, there is no ifs, ands, or buts about it. It is very serious um, and something that we take very seriously, I take very seriously. Um, beyond that, again, we've discussed that internally um, since, it ha since the time it happened or the reports that came out. Um, and so um, beyond that, I'm not, I'm not um, going to address it right now. Brandon addressed it. We obviously met on it. Uh, we've had great communication about it and collaboration, and it is a very, very serious situation and um, something we don't take lightly at all. All right. All right. You good? I, I, I guess just looking forward, just at this point of the season with five games left and coming, have, have, you put, have you been able to put aside just the frustrations of how that last game ended two weeks ago, and how do you now focus on what you have left to do with these five ga games, knowing that you need some help but still have a chance to make the playoffs? Yeah, John, that's really where, where we are. That's really where my focus is and our focus needs to be is on today and us controlling the things that we can control and getting better as a football team, and, and uh, that's, that's our intent today. Is there, you can't drop. How much can you draw parallels from when you were seven and six, or are those just two different things? Well, I think anything's uh, experience, right? So you can learn from experience. That said, every season's different, and every team is different and takes on its own identity, if you will. And uh, and that's uh, what I'm looking for from our team moving forward. Here is the identity of this team. And finally, what? Have, is there a level of encouragement to see, perhaps at least on offense, that this team has potentially turned the corner in, 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 in performing to expectations um, as you've done, and there's still some things to clean up on defense? Yeah, I mean, I, I think I think overall, I mean, you look at you know you look at the big picture over the last two weeks. There's there's been good football being played. I mean, um, offensively, as you mentioned, that the 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 meter, the scale has moved uh, in a good direction. Um, does that mean we're where we need to be? No, not whatsoever. Same thing, special teams and defensively. Um, so, you know, defensively, I thought we did a good job taking the ball away in the last two games and setting up the offense, which is a big part of playing team ball. So, and then that first half um, was really, really high level. Second half wasn't good enough. And, and so those are the things we're working on improving. Um, and you're always trying to, trying to improve your football team. Conversations with Joe Brady over the bye. How much do you anticipate this offense changing now that he's had more time to put his fingerprints on it? Uh, I think just week to week. You know, it'll evolve. It'll take on his, as you mentioned, his fingerprint, um, as well as the overall staff and, and the offense, and including Josh. So um, I like what I'm seeing, and and uh, we, we'll continue to take it, you know, one day at a time here. Sean, sure, I know the bye week is often self scout <coughs> tendencies, things like that. You can yeah. tweak. How does that change with an OC who's only been in there for two weeks? Because obviously what you did and you guys did on offense is going to be different than what your tendencies might be with him, if that makes yeah. sense. Yeah, I mean, it's, um, you know, I, I don't, I think it's, you know, easier to manage than one would think just in terms of um, you have two weeks, you know, defensive coordinators have two weeks of, of Joe out there in terms of what he's put out there in terms of his tendencies. Um, and so sometimes that can be an advantage. Sometimes it can be a disadvantage. It's just a matter of how you look at it. Sean, you've mentioned in the past how everything is still out in front of you, the goals making the postseason. Is there a message at all inside the locker room that it, it's almost a playoff game every week now? Well, that's where our focus is, right? Um, every week when you, when you start your season, it's, it's every week's the same importance in terms of the size of the game. No different this week in terms of – um, we're going against a heck of an opponent at their place, Super Bowl uh, champs, and um, you know it's it's a it's going to be a great challenge. We're going to have to play for a whole game. We're going to have to play really well and sustain our level of play um, for four quarters or however long uh, it goes. Is the sense of urgency <laughs> even higher now? Um, my hope w was that it was high in week one. Really, um, moving forward. Um, you know, it, it definitely has to be where it needs to be in order for us to go in and get a win in Kansas City. 
Yeah. What about this Chiefs defense has improved? It seems like they've taken a big jump, even though it's largely the same personnel they had the season before. Yeah, I mean, Coach Spaggs does a really good job. Uh, I worked with him for a number of years. Um, kind of came up under under him in terms of uh, the defensive backs there for, for some time in Philadelphia. And he's a great coach. Uh, he's got a great staff with him. And, and, um, and they've got great players, you know, that make big-time plays, um, uh, starting with Chris Jones. So he's a, he's a big-time difference maker. Sean, are there any considerations to, you know, the reports and allegations for – for off the field things that go into your game day decisions as to whether Von Miller is active or is that a completely a football decision? Well, I'd start. I'd start by saying those are separate to be to start, um, and I think that's important that they stay there. Um, um, but every situation is a little bit different. Good. All right, thanks, guys.